Time for some voodoo magic. So today I'm going to be customizing my shoes by painting voodoo dolls on them. In case you guys don't know what voodoo dolls are, you basically take a doll with someone's DNA attached to it. So like, let's say for some weird reason I had one of Grimace. So whatever I do to this doll of Grimace will happen to the actual Grimace. So like, I could throw him out the window. Or I could give him a back rub. Or I could even make him subscribe. It's my choice. But now, I basically have complete control over him. <laughs> if you're new here, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and select the All option. Ringing it is not enough, apparently. You have to select All or I'll be lost on the internet forever. I post new videos every Friday. Time to ruin these shoes. I mean, improve them. Ho <laughs> ho! Let's get started. So we're bringing back the post-it note doodles. I know some of you guys miss these. I recently drew a little adorable voodoo doll bear thing for one of my community tab posts. I post there every Sunday. And he turned out so adorable that I thought I'd be nice for once and give him a few friends. This little guy is going to be the inspiration for the design of these shoes. I think I'll name him... Buttons. So today I'll be customizing some Balenciaga shoes. Oh no, it looks like they mixed up my order. Not again. I guess these'll do though. They feel about the same. Oh my god, Becky, look at those shoes. These shoes are pretty much as basic as they get. On a scale from 1 to Starbucks, they're a gluten-free iPhone latte in one of those venti Ugg boot cups. Or whatever. Becky! Look at those shoes! Becky! <gasps> Let's get the laces off of here, and... What is this dumb thing? Get out of here. Man, now that the laces are off, you can really appreciate the canvas that we have to work with. These are... Sinfully boring. I need to pumpkin spice these things up just to make them look a little bit more unique. There's no turning back now. I'm using a thin white Posca pen to just sketch out the design first, and then I'll go back in and add some color. Hello there, I'm the Albert Francis and Ghosts. Hurry up and get out there, what are you doing? I'll be, I'll be right there in a jiffy, sir. Hello there, I'm the Uncle Chantis and Ghosts. A long time ago, cavemen used to doodle on walls. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. But this is 2020, and we're an advanced civilization now. So now we doodle on shoes. I've always thought that voodoo dolls were creepy, yet so adorable at the same time. As you guys probably already have figured out by now, I'm really drawn to things that are cute, but evil. There's just something special about them. So I decided we're going to use blue and red on this first shoe, and then the second shoe is going to be green and pink. I want them to look like they're very contrasted, but at the same time look like they belong on the same happy little feet. Or I guess big feet, because I got these in my size.
So I've collected quite a few souls and my sock drawer is starting to overflow. I'm running out of places to keep all of them. I'm thinking about putting some of your guys' souls into voodoo dolls. I know you won't mind. <laughs> I think that this first shoe is looking pretty cool. What do you guys think? Now that this one's pretty much done, let's put it aside, and I think it's time to get started on the second shoe. This one's going to be pink and green. I had to go back in with the Posca pens about three or four times to get a nice even coat of color. Painting these shoes is taking all day. Not like I have anything better to do though. I don't even have anywhere to go to wear them. But I've been hunched over my desk here for hours. And now... My lower back is killing me. It's gonna be worth it though. Now that all the painting's done, I'm just gonna slap on a layer of varnish here to seal in all the soles. Now I'm going to low-key struggle putting the laces back in. When I was doing this, it occurred to me that I've probably only relaced shoes about two or three times in my entire life. You know, it's a really nice day. I think I'll go for a walk. Didn't want to get my $15 Vosties dirty though. Comment down below which shoe is your favorite, the blue and red one or the pink and green one. All right, let's take these dumb things off now. Yeah, wait a minute. This is too much effort. <coughs> All right, it's loony time. In last week's video, we celebrated reaching 1,000 subscribers by playing some Roblox copyrighted artists. Definitely go check that one out if you haven't already. I just wanted to take a look at some of my favorite comments from that video. Come back here or I'll bite your legs off. Please come back. Thank you guys for adding me on Roblox. Some of you even went as far as to add me on multiple accounts. This is the most friends I've ever had. Bruh. I didn't realize that all that stuff went down on Roblox. You guys have really opened my eyes. I'll be sure to watch my back next time I'm wandering the streets of Meep City. Hello, neighbor. Like a good neighbor? Stay over there. Thank you to Jet16 for this really awesome artwork of Slurp. Thank you all so much for all of the love and support you guys give me. In the words of Midnight's Dark Side, This means the universe to me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I also started up a TikTok if you guys want to follow me there too. All links will be in the description. And don't forget to come back next Friday. Same loony time. Same loony place.